Hey, what's going on, guys? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you're a Khloe Kardashian, you have lost your mind, your mother-loving mind. Do you know that Chloe is now saying that Tristan was offended because Chloe made Tristan take a paternity test three times to prove that Tatum was his child? Y'all. Chloe made Tristan Thompson take a paternity test for a surrogate pregnancy because she wasn't convinced that Tatum looked like either her or Tristan. Y'all, we got to get into this because honestly, let me be real with y'all. This is one of the most insane things. I, listen, Chloe's level of craziness, it's, it's getting out there. And I'm actually really, really concerned for her. Like, Chloe needs help. The fact that she refuses to acknowledge that that baby, Tatum, looks just like her. Even now, she's calling True her mini-me, and Tatum is a mini-Rob. Baby, she is crashing out over this, and I know why she's, I think I know why she's crashing out. I'm going to let y'all know my theory in a second. But first, let's get into this article, because baby, you cannot make this up. This is ridiculous. Chloe admitted to making Tristan Thompson take three, take multiple paternity tests for their son. For Tr Tatum, who was born via surrogacy. I made Tristan do three DNA tests for Tatum. He was so offended. He ex she, he, she explained that she requested the test because she thought he <clears throat> doesn't look like either me or Tristan. Chloe, that boy got your whole face. And you are so delulu. I thought she was faking, but you are so delulu that you have convinced yourself that True is your twin and Tatum is don't got you or Tristan's face. I know he don't got Tristan's face, but your face, hold on, there's more. She joked, she, she joked, she even asked her brother Rob if he ever donated sperm somewhere because Tatum looks just like my brother. Let me get this straight. You had a child that looks just like you, but for whatever reason, you're the Lulu. Maybe it was pregnancy hormones. You couldn't see it. So you go to your brother and ask the uncle of your child conceived by a surrogacy if he ever donated anywhere. I'm, in this family, that would not surprise me, but that would be so disgusting. But I remember uh, the doctor was like, you've already done a DNA, a DNA test. And I said, I need to do, do another one. I need to figure it out. That doctor must have just been looking at Chloe like, oh my God. She now gushes that Tatum also reminds her of her late father, Robert Kardashian. She said, my son's a year and a half and he's sarcastic and my dad had a really dry, silly, just crazy sense of humor and there's glimmer of my dad and Tatum. And I'm like, this is so freaking weird, but it's just how God works and I love it. Oh my God. In February, she shared a series of snaps with Tatum and people couldn't stop writing about how he looked like Rob's twin. Um, Listen, let me tell y'all something, right? Um, Listen, I think I know what's going on here. Now, this is just my theory. Y'all, don't drag me. But I think I know what's going on here. I remember Chloe had so much trouble bonding with Tristan. And it wasn't until Kris Jenner, because she is a mastermind, planted the notion that Tatum doesn't look like your original face, Chloe. Tatum looks like Rob. That Chloe was able to accept Tatum or move toward. Because prior to that, she was like, she wanted nothing to do with the baby. She was going out partying. She was doing all this stuff. Though, here's my theory, okay? And I'm reading the article, but I'll just tell you, right? I think Chloe, the whole point in her mind of having a mixed baby was to neutralize any and all features that she can't stand about herself. So to see that baby come out looking like everything she ever hated about herself I think it was too much for her to handle. Now, again, Tatum's a cute kid. Chloe is a cute girl. Kris Jenner was the one that used to sit there while she was like with her friends and be like, Chloe, come here. Look at her nose. She going to need a... Kris used to drag Chloe and it really messed with her psyche. Like, 
Before all this, she used to love saying how much True looked like her father. But now, out of nowhere, True is actually her mini-me. She's photoshopping the pictures, by the way. Even though Tatum looks less and less like Rob every day. Now, I, my opinion, he looks nothing like Rob. That kid has season one Chloe. She also can't stand that Tatum doesn't look, in my opinion, that she doesn't have True's complexion. At least to her, Tatum looks Armenian and she wanted mixed children. Like, it was doubly insulting in her mind that she got stuck with a kid she no longer wanted. And then the kid turned out looking like a clone of everything she can't stand on her own face. Like, think about it. If you put a side-by-side -side comparison between season one and two and Chloe and Tatum, it's uncanny. Again, Chloe was always a cute girl. But again, she sees what she wants in her features. Remember how Chloe, what was it? Let me find the page. She went crazy when a normal looking photo of herself in a bikini got posted by accident and she almost burned down the whole internet to get it deleted. All because it showed how she looked without Photoshop. Okay, y'all know that? Now imagine that, but with the baby. The baby is like a picture you can't get scrubbed off the internet. <laughs> The last thing I do want to say, what was Chloe going to do if that test with Tatum came back negative? What was she going to do? Is that the real reason she waited nine, eight months to name him? Did she think that would not make her a monster by putting a child up for adoption all because it wasn't Tristan's? Because at the end of the day, Chloe, it's yours. I don't understand. She was on that Sherry Shepard plan. Remember how Sherry Shepard made a baby and was like, I don't got nothing to do with it, except for the fact of Chloe, it's confirmed to be your son. Did, was that the plan? You find out it's not Tristan and then you push it out. But now we actually see what's going on. The reason why Chloe can condone all of Tristan antics is because Chloe looks like was a deadbeat mom. And I think that's how she can condone, in my opinion, all of Tristan antics because at the end of the day, right? Chloe, it's all about looks. It's all about the aesthetic. She has very deep psychological scars. I get that. But at what point, I actually worry for all the Kardashian kids. I don't even know them. I know what you're saying. Oh, girl, worry about yourself. Ah, 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 this, that, and a third. But to be real with you, I worry about that the same thing that made them money and made them fear and feeds them is the same thing that's ripping them apart. How could you look at a baby that has your face and question who he belongs to? And again, even if it wasn't Tristan's baby, what were you going to do? Give up your blood for adoption? Like, what, what were you going to do? Return it to Cinder? How were you going to get past this? Y'all, listen. Let me know what you think in the comments. I also posted another video about, um, I also posted another video about uh, Chloe and the way she said that like with surrogacy, she ain't even want the baby, she didn't want to bring the baby home. I feel sorry for Tristan that Chloe's even admitting this because we don't need to know. We didn't ask. And are you, would you like, uh, yo, the only person that person ever protects, in my opinion, is Tristan. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.